Here I stand before a bookshelf of games. For some of you, this might seem like a lot of games. This is actually not a lot of games for us. We also have this that I had stored in the basement, two Monopolies and a Scrabble. And we have donated uh, several dozen games as a part of living with less. I am using this bookshelf as a boundary for the amount of games I think that we can handle at any time. The problem that I face right now and that I'm going to attempt to tackle in this video is that the ones that are on the shelf, I wanna keep. We play these games. I also have these to consider and then a big Scrabble and a big Monopoly. This Monopoly is from the Franklin Mint. It was a gift from my dad to, to us and I'm keeping this. We're just missing a couple of game accessories that, that go with it. Somehow they got lost in the move, one of our moves. I'm hoping that since I still have 30 or so boxes in the basement to attend to, that the missing pieces will turn up. But I have an extra Monopoly set right there in that black box that we can pull game pieces from to make one complete Monopoly. This is a Scrabble game that was my mother's. I also have a couple of games stored in the RV already. And I may select some of these to keep into the RV. And then I have a whole bunch in there that I gotta deal with. My intention, I mean, I even labeled it as games. My intention was that I would rotate games for them, but we play these all the time. I'm not, I, and that has been sitting in the basement for months, which I don't wanna do. While I'm sitting here dealing with games, I have a robot vacuum that has been cleaning my floors for me while I'm doing this. It learns where the walls are without running into it. It turns around, it picks up a lot of things. It came with an extra filter. It goes back home with the touch of a button and it actually goes around this whole level without me needing to adjust. It even knows where the step down into the family room is and doesn't fall off the ledge, which I thought was really cool. This robot vacuum was gifted to me by Enther, and I want to thank Enther for sponsoring this part of the video. They also sent me a storage box. The robot vacuum that I have has six cleaning modes for max vacuuming, auto cleaning, edge cleaning, random cleaning, area cleaning, and deep cleaning. It has a two hour runtime and self charges. It goes back home to charge when the power is low. It has a double layer washable HEPA filter and came with an extra filter as well. So it's getting the dog hair and the dirt. Check the description box below for a special link and a description code for the storage boxes. I think the best way to go about this is to tackle this bin, see what can fit on the shelf, and then maybe choose things to either declutter or move into the RV. And I also wanna combo these two Monopoly games. And then I gotta find a home for Scrabble. It's too big for the bookshelf, but it's a game we play and I wanna keep. So, let's do it. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, 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 this is so heavy. Oh my God, really heavy, really heavy, really heavy. Oh, really heavy. Okay, this is a vintage, vintage, little meal. Vintage edition Monopoly. It was a gift from one of our real estate agents through the years. It actually is engraved with our last name. Very cool. But I am gonna have to rob from that game to complete the Franklin Mint one I wanna keep. Okay, Scrabble, played a time or two. Um, I have an idea for this one. Okay, let's see what I've chosen. Anything that was in here that my kids asked to play, I went down and got it out of the bin. So this stuff has been sitting in here. So it is really going to have to make the cut to go on the shelf. Now, the first two things, this is a backgammon game. It's um, vintage, I guess, at this point. It was from Andy's grandfather and we're gonna keep this. And then this is a, oh, the latch is broken. This is a chess set that Andy got in Bahrain when he was stationed there. However, it's missing pieces. So if Andy is not super attached to this, I'm actually going to get rid of this. To be determined, okay. Oh no, apples to apples. Very fun game from our friends, Jeremy and Jamie. Um, 
<laughs> you can also see we played this a few times. Um, we aren't great about putting it away properly. So I'm just gonna put that there. All right, we've got Melton Raiders. Edition Superstars. My oldest does like this game. It is triple digit edition, which my other two kids are not doing. And my oldest is actually very good at. So I don't think we need this game anymore. I think I am going to get rid of this game. When I say get rid of a game, I mean it's going to go on Facebook Marketplace for free in a buy nothing Annapolis group where I live. Okay, Rivers, Roads, and Rails. Um, this is missing pieces. It's also kind of annoying to play as a grown up. So I'm going to trash this. Queen Domino. My kids like this. We're going to probably keep this one. This is too, too it gets too spread out for an RV game. So it's not going to be good. Uh, King Domino Expansion, Age of Giants. Okay, we've never played this version. I'm going to donate this. Zeus on the Loose. It's fun, but it takes a long time. It's a great little math game for, uh, you know, second and third grade, but it takes a really long time. I think we've only actually played through it once. Going to get rid of that one too. Raccoon Rumpus. This is Missing Pieces. It's also been played aggressively and uh, it's been th it's been through some things. It has some issues. The pieces are all taped together. Um, so it's not really something I would give away. Yeah, everything's like taped together or ripped. Um, I I'm going to trash this. My kids haven't asked for this in three plus months since it's been in the basement. So I I'm going to trash this. However, they loved this when they were at the younger ages, two, three, and four, when they were learning colors and dressing. And this was a really fun game for them. They played it a lot, which is evidenced by the pieces inside. And we're missing a couple of the costumes too. So um, I am going to trash this. This is way easier than I thought. Okay, honeycombs. This is a fun matching game where you build a honeycomb. My kids have never asked to play this. They've only gotten the pieces out and played with it, but never actually played the proper way. So I'm gonna give this away. Old Maid. I'm gonna give this away. We've never played it. How do I even keep this? All right, decks of cards. I'm gonna keep decks of cards and I'm gonna put them in the RV. I'm actually gonna save one for here and check for a complete deck put it in the RV and get rid of the other two. Okay, so that's a to-do, put that over here. Um, King Domino Duel, probably bought it because we are in love with King Domino. However, we've never even opened it. I'm gonna give this away on Facebook Marketplace. And Covalence, a molecule building game. So we're gonna keep that one. All right, so I'm keeping this one. I'm also gonna keep Apples to Apples just because it's a fun party game. I just have to put it back in the box properly. So those are the things I need to make space for. And then a home for Scrabble. I have an idea for Scrabble, but I don't like it. Okay. Another empty bin in the Lucas household. Woohoo! We have a lot of empty bins now. <laughs> oh, okay. And then this is trash. Trash and trash. Um, this is going to go... One of these decks is gonna go in the RV and the other two are gonna get donated. I think this is gonna be trash, but I do need to check with my husband. Find homes on the shelf for these. Okay, I'm gonna put Super Tooth and Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza, goat cheese pizza uh, in the RV. I'm gonna put Don't Rock the Boat in the RV. Um, on Instagram recently, I shared that one of our favorite games is Catastrophe. We love this game. And uh, I asked for suggestions on good family fun games. And somebody suggested Don't Rock the Boat. The kids love this too. So I'm going to put this in the RV. I'm going to put Silly Street in the RV. This is an awesome family game, pretty much all ages, because you can help the little ones read. So, um, 
I, that's a lot of fun. The kids really like that. Okay. I'm gonna put Scrambled States of America in the RV too because it doesn't take up much space and we'll be traveling across the United States this summer. So, okay, that's good. I have room in the RV for those things. So that created some space here, which is good. Well, that was easy. I just took the container out and now it fits. To apples. Okay, so I'm gonna put the vintage backgammon underneath. It fits great, doesn't stick out. Hold on a minute. It's these, I think, the title deeds. That's what I'm missing from my um, Franklin Mint Monopoly is the title deeds. So I'm gonna use these in there. That's the only thing that's missing. It was a gorgeous Franklin Mint book that had all the title deeds that went with this one. Um, so I, I really hope we come across this in the boxes that we unpacked and it didn't get stolen. This is what happens when you move every couple of years in the Navy. Things get lost and stolen and broken and damaged and why not? Stuck it under there for now. It's not my favorite place to be, but if I do want it in here and we play it, I just can't fit it under this shelf without it sticking out. And plus backgammon's already in there. So those are gonna go in the RV and everything else fit on the shelves. These are the games I'm giving away. Andy has the RV at home right now because he's working on it. So I'm gonna put our games in there. Okay, I need to get back there to store them, which I can't do when the slide out is in and we are not leveled in the RV right now. So I am not going to put the slide out out just to get back there and stow it because it's not level and you can mess up the slide out. So for now, I'm going to set them here and put them away before we actually drive. Lily, we've been adding things, like there's a coffee pot in here. I don't know where Andy put it, but <laughs> maybe down here? No, <laughs> whatever. Um, slowly just been like adding pillows that are actually gonna stay here so we don't have to drag our pillows in and out. We've got our telescope that's usually in the house. We've pulled that down here. Uh, these are the fire pit blankets and extra blankets for the RV. All stuff that's just gonna stay in here. This is my storage area for clothes. I have a rod and then all of the space. However, it's it's really quite narrow. So I'm having trouble finding like a hanging organizer or bins or something. Thank you for watching.